This video will show how to use the Grable Style Discovery software and the M40 engraver to engrave a list of names imported from Microsoft Excel. First thing we do is open up Microsoft Excel and type in a bunch of information. Uh, this can be done by a secretary or somebody in the office and then they, they can send you this Excel file. Once you have the Excel file, we'll open Grable Style discovery and here we have the very first screen we see material uh, layout and machining definitions we first put in the size of our plate which is three by one and click OK and then if we want a variable which we do when we're importing different names we click here on professional tools and click on the bracketed V which is variable text then we say we want, by clicking the check mark, we acknowledge we want one single variable. If we want to change the font, we can change it here to uh, whatever font you would like. And we can also change the character height to whatever you want to have. We'll change it to 0.2 inches. Then we come down here to the other V. It's a plain V. And if you hover over it, it says edit variables. And here's a variable screen. Now we can either type the information in there, or if we open Excel, we can highlight those names. And by right-clicking and clicking on Copy, it copies that information to the clipboard. Then we can come in here to Gravel Style and right-click and click Paste, and it pastes that information in so we don't have to retype it. And the spelling is as accurate as it is uh, when it was given when the file was given to you so now we have all that information in here we come down to multi copy activate manual mode we have to tell it how many across and how many down we want to do and we can do it in any arrangement we want we'll go uh, two across and four down because I had eight names in there and here we'll tell it to do a total total cutting axis and we'll use the green color when I click the check mark, it produces the job with all the variables outlined on the green. So then we come to the machining screen, and here we have, uh, we're using the upper left corner, but we're offsetting 0.2 inches in X and Y so we don't run into the ruler when we are engraving the uh, cutouts. For the, uh, the black tool, we'll go the fast speed. For the green cutout tool, we'll go to medium speed. And we'll tell it here to pause for the tool by taking the cancel mark off of that. And then we make sure for our lift, we have at least 0.175 so it raises up enough to clear the plastic. Then if we click the run button, it'll send that job to the engraver. We should also preview the job so it shows us what we're going to do. Here we see the 12 by 8 engraving area. We see the names that we have had imported and the cutout lines. Uh, notice that we're not cutting right against the edge of the material because we don't want to cut into the ruler. Okay, we've already sent that. Now let's go over to the machine. 